What's up there guys, this is Chris from VFX On and I have an exciting tutorial for you today. In this tutorial I'm gonna create, well we are gonna create a particles in Cinema 4D just as if we would be making them using Trapcode Particular in Adobe After Effects. So let's take a look how does that look. So, without further ado, let's get into making one of this. Okay, so here I am in Cinema 4D. Let's add a few more frames, like so, 300. Now let's go to Create, Object, and Null Object. And I'm gonna rename this to Thinking Part, or Thinking Particulars, because that's what is this kind of what is this tutorial about thinking particles so now we will need to add an object to emit the particles from you can add any object starting from cube ending with tube but I'm gonna use a sphere for this tutorial and I'm gonna resize this um, resize the radius to 25 like this now let's add the radius is a child of thinking particles and let's right click on the null object Cinema 4D tags and Expresso. Then drag the sphere inside the Expresso. Let's resize it a bit like this. And as you can see, this window or dialog in the Expresso editor window have two sides: the red side and the blue side, just as the the batteries. I don't know why such an example, but anyway let's click on the right side and go to coordinates and global position and add global position again click on the right side and global matrix this time okay now let's right click in a free space new node uh, thinking particles generator and pstorm okay now let's resize this a bit uh, basically the pstorm will be our emitter and let's click on the red, um, I mean blue side here, and let's add the, where is it, emitter alignment. And let's connect the emitter position with global position, oh, alignment, with global matrix. Okay, now let's close the Expresso Editor window. And we have here, if you, if you need to open Expresso Editor window again, just double click the Expresso tag and you can open that up. Make sure to click the PStorm dialog there and we have a settings here. First off we want to change the birth type from count to shot and shot here let's change that to 500. Life basically that's how long your particles will uh, will well what's the time after what they will start to die so if I press play now you can see that they will last for 90 frames and you can see that they're starting to die slowly. Um, what we want to do is make sure that the uh, life is longer than our uh, frames here. So I have 300 here. I'm going to set that to 500 so that they don't die so fast and, and you can and they last all the time we have here. So if you have like default 92 or 72 make like I don't know, 200 or 172, I don't know, like something like that. Now let's set the speed to 10, speed variation to 100, and size to 5. And at the X and Y fo, we have to set them at 90 degrees. Okay, now we should add some animation to our scene, so... Let's select the sphere because that's from where all uh, that's from where the particles are emitted from. So let's um, I'm gonna add a camera there. Uh, so let's set a first keyframe here. Let's go like to 40, and let's move our sphere to I don't know like like here. Set a keyframe. Wait, what? Oh, I have to make a keyframe. Let's say, okay, keyframe, first keyframe here, the movement there. You can already see what's happening. So basically, make some movement here and there. 
like this well just you know whatever movement you like like this like wait what like that go back like so okay so that's my animation here okay let's go back to our start and you can see that we have some why is it oh yeah here it is so there is some movement yada yada yeah so you can add whatever um, keyframes wherever however you like just make your own animation but if we render right now oh I have to turn off the sphere so if we render you can't see anything so let's go to Expresso Editor and go to new node Expresso um, I think it was where was it thinking particles uh, P standard and P group. So let's add that. Let's scale it a bit up. Like I will move it here for example, like that. And let's click here in the red in the P storm and add the particle birth. And let's connect all to particle birth like this. Okay, now let's click the P group. Let's go to simulation thinking particles and thinking particle settings. Now let's drag the all to P group. Okay, let's close this. Let's go to simulation thinking particles, particle geometry. Let's add that. And let's go to simulation thinking particles, particle settings. So, and now let's add all to particle group here, particle group at particle geometry there. Okay, now we have to add a hair material. Yeah, create a hair material. Let's double click and let's make it all white here. Anyway, yeah, I add a hair material and now let's add it to particular geometry. Right click on it and let's see simulation. Where was it? Oh, hair tag and let's add render. Okay, let's close the espresso here. And if I let's rewind and let's play again. Uh, come on. Okay, if I stop here and if I render, you can see the particles there, but they do not look good, I would have to say. So we will have to make them a little bit, well, okay, a lot better than they look right now. So let's add a light. And this is the thing that the light will change the color of your particles. So. I will add something like I will add red. I will move above the particles, the light. I'm gonna turn off the camera here so I can see the particles. Okay, so I'm gonna move the light above our particles. Okay, let's go to this view, and if I render now. You can see that the light changes the color of our particles, but still it does not look good. So let's go to Expresso Editor again. Right click, New Node, Expresso. Um, wait, oh, uh, Thinking Particles, TP in, in a sheet. Well, anyways, click this and P Pass. So let's scale this baby up once again right click new node uh thinking particles tp dynamic and uh friction let's scale that also now right click new node uh thinking particles dynamics and p wind let's rearrange this like this now let's connect all to particle here and all to p wind. Um, the p wind needs an object, so let's go to create object, null object. Let's rename this to wind, and then select p wind here in Espresso and drag the null object in the objects section in the p wind. The strength we will set to 200 and the turbulence to 
400, which will give us a nice spin. Close the espresso, let's go back and let's hit play. Now I would have to say it looks pretty good, although I will have to adjust the keyframes here because they're awful, awful. The animation is just awful, awful, awful. Okay, so come on. Okay, anyways, I think it should be good now. Okay, let's. Okay, I'm gonna delete that keyframe because apparently it's stopping everything from the movement. And yeah, you can see it, it looks good in my opinion. So you should add more more keyframes, more animations, so the particles are all over the place everywhere. Just go nuts with it. Okay, so I made a few adjustments with the keyframes here. I add a little bit more and I'm gonna now duplicate the light like that. I'm gonna change the color here to yellow. Um, duplicate this again. Now I have to. I'm gonna move this like, let's say, like here, like something like this. I'm gonna change this to pinkish purple, pinkish. Sounds weird. Anyway, yeah, something like this. And now if we render, let's see how does it look. Oops. Why did I add it a keyframe there? So let's render. Um, well, the yellow is dominating here, so let's move it a little bit in like this. So here we have some sort of cool effect. It kind of reminds me of champagne for some reason. I don't know why. Um, anyway, guys, uh, this is it for the tutorial. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And um, I hope you will hit subscribe because it will help us grow. And I hope you will hit the like button. Just go crazy with it, the likes. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave me down below. Or if you have anything else to share, also leave me down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in some other tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.